Is there anything about this Democrat impeachment frenzy that hasn't been a lie? Let's go through this evolving Democrat narrative. First, we were told by the Washington Post that President Trump made an inappropriate promise to a foreign leader during a phone call. That was a lie, as the transcript of the phone call proved. Then, we were told that the whistleblower complaint was the actual smoking gun proving that President Trump threatened the president of Ukraine to withhold U.S. aid if Ukraine didn't dig up dirt on former Vice President Joe Biden. But we saw the actual transcript of the phone call for ourselves, and there was no such threat. That was a lie. Quid pro quo was a lie. The mainstream media reported that in the transcript, President Trump asked Ukrainian President Zelensky for a favor about investigating Joe Biden. But the favor Trump asked for was not about Joe Biden. It was about CrowdStrike. So that was a lie. Next, the Democrats in Congress accused the Trump White House of staging a cover-up of the transcript, hiding it on a super secure computer system where nobody could see it. But the president released the unredacted transcript to the public. So how could there be a cover-up? That was a lie. So the Democrats morphed their narrative again to claim that even though President Trump released the transcript to the public, it was unprecedented for the Trump White House to hide the transcript on a secure computer. But then Obama's former national security advisor, Susan Rice, said that the Obama White House did the same thing. So that attack was a lie. But the Democrats didn't stop there. They then claimed a report from Sean Davis at The Federalist was false. Davis reported that sometime this summer, the whistleblower form was changed on the Inspector General of the Intelligence Community's website to allow an option for secondhand information, whereas before, the form only allowed the option for firsthand information. The IGIC then released a statement corroborating Davis's reporting. So the mainstream media was caught in their lie. Likewise, 60 Minutes reported that the whistleblower was under government protection because he feared for his life. But then the whistleblower's attorney said 60 Minutes was wrong. The whistleblower was not under government protection. So that was also a lie. And don't forget about Democratic Congressman Adam Schiff's theatrical performance in Congress, where he literally fabricated a fake conversation between Trump and Zelensky and acted like the fake conversation was true. But make no mistake, Schiff's make-believe was a big, whopping lie. In fact, all of Schiff's media hits have claimed that President Trump asked the Ukrainians to invent dirt on Joe Biden or else risk losing U.S. aid. And all of that is a provable lie. Then we have Joe Biden's surrogates claiming his actions in the Ukraine have already been investigated. But by whom? The prosecutor put into place after Biden got the real prosecutor fired? This is a lie. Biden also claims he never talked business with his son Hunter. But Hunter told the New Yorker that they did talk business. And then this photo surfaces of Joe Biden with Hunter and Hunter's business partner all playing golf together. So all that seems like a lie. It's all lies. Lie, 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 lie. And for what? Because the Democrats can't find a single real allegation against Donald Trump, so they are forced to lie. And that is my final point. 